Tonight, the fight is on to get a huge homeless encampment in Hollywood off the street. Uh, people who live nearby say it's been there for years. They're just tired of it. Yeah, but those who call the camp home say they have nowhere else to go. The encampment runs here along Poinsettia Place in Fairfax and right across the street from the park. KCAL News reporter Joy Benedict spoke with those who live in this encampment and those also trying to get it cleaned up. Is prostitution not being safe to walk around at night? Police are overworked. It was a cry for help at this community center as neighbor after neighbor spoke up about a homeless encampment they say has gone too far. I found needles behind my business. I found human waste behind my business. And I've had a naked person run through the next door. The encampment is on Poinsettia Place in Hollywood. Cell phone video from this morning shows people in the street, some barely clothed, and trash everywhere. Looks like a bomb exploded there. There's garbage, condoms, needles, trash, just, and it's right across here from a park where there's kids. This evening, it looked about the same, but those who live here tell a different story. I've been out here um, let's see, since 2013, and I've been homeless since, um, ever since then. Farah says she wants a home, but has nowhere to go. The struggle for me has been um, that I'm a convict and that I'm a drug addict. Um, um, I'm African American. I'm transgender. Um, um, let me see. I have my mental health. I'm HIV positive. Barriers, she says, prevent her from getting assistance. What we're experiencing, it can happen to anyone. A few tents away is Ari. This is our first time on the streets. Ari says they were homeless in Illinois, but they came to LA three months ago because they heard they could get help here. Opening and welcoming of trans people. You just wanted a safe space. Yep, somewhere that would actually help in this uncaring world. But this encampment isn't new. This is video from the same street when a fight broke out five years ago. These neighbors say in all its cleanup, the city has forgotten them. The safety of the neighborhood is at risk. Which brings us back to this community meeting where they're hoping to draw the attention of the city council, not only to get their neighborhood back, but to make sure those living here get the help they clearly need. It's just falling apart at the seams eventually. This is going to be, it's going to be irreparable. This district is represented by council member Yaroslavsky and she says she has the only district where she doesn't have any general population beds for the unhoused, which makes cleaning up encampments like this one very, very difficult. Nonetheless, this committee did vote to go ahead and move that letter forward to the neighborhood council in hopes of getting the attention of the city. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.